case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1995, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit heard the case Kagan v. Internal Revenue Service, which centered on the court's ability to use outside information in making decisions. In this particular case, the disputed information was the fact that banks always send monthly statements to their customers, which was not provided as evidence in the case itself. The lawsuit began when taxpayers challenged the IRS's authority to levy their bank accounts without proper notification. The court initially ruled in favor of the IRS, stating that the taxpayers would have been notified of the levies through their monthly bank statements. The taxpayers, however, contested this decision, arguing that the court had improperly relied on information not presented in the case. In response, the court granted a rehearing and ultimately reaffirmed its original decision. It reasoned that monthly bank statements are a well-established and widely recognized practice, and the taxpayers would have received sufficient notice of the levies through these statements before the expiration of the limitations period. The court determined that the taxpayers had received the necessary notice regarding the IRS's collection of unpaid taxes and that any potential failures on the part of the IRS did not prejudice the taxpayers, as the necessary information had been provided through bank statements and levy notices. Consequently, the court upheld its original ruling in favor of the IRS. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.